second grade. Someone said, that looks weird, Mrs. Menelin. I've always spelled, this was a very, very smart second grader, I've always spelled lovable, L-O-V-E, A-B-L-E. And I said, oh, right, but lovable, then it doesn't follow the rules, and it's a single silent E, and it's a vowel suffix, and a draw box. But Miss Emily and I started thinking, and we went to the dictionary and we checked, and would you know that both of these are acceptable? They're both acceptable, but we don't know why. We have some ideas, but we don't know exactly why. And when we study word, words, and we have questions, we put them on something called the Wonder Wall. Because I don't have all the answers. But there's places that I can go to find out, and there's kids that are going to go research and find out. So maybe tonight, you might go home and say, I need to know why you can spell L-O-V-E-A-B-L-E -E and L-O-V-E-L-O-V-A-B-L-E, -E -E, why both of these are acceptable. Possibly, one is a British spelling, and one is an American spelling. Possibly, it's one of those words that people just spell it this way, and so the dictionary said, okay, we'll take both. Maybe the suffix A-B-L-E -E just does something funny. I'd almost want to test it out on another word with a single silent E in the base. Try that out. Studying words is about asking questions and trying to find the answers. Could it be a compound word? Love and able? <gasps> Maybe it is a compound word. Another great idea. Mr. Whitehoop's wondering, just like you are. I'm going to give you a paper. Make sure that your name gets on it. And we're going to work on a cool, cool tool. That box that has a big L-O-V-E, love, in the center, is something that is useful for looking at how words are made and built. And we're going to start using it to be scientists around word study and words, and word making and word building. The L-O-V-E in the middle is a base word. That's why it's kind of a bold, dark <coughs> color. Okay? Before the base, that U-N, what do you think that's called? Prefix. It is. It's a prefix. All of, the, all of the parts, all of the fixes at the back side, these, what are these called? Suffixes. Suffixes. We can attach to a base word a prefix and a suffix and come up with a new word. Okay? We can use the word matrix to do this. So I'm going to do it up here. You trace with your fingers, and I'm sorry I don't have a bigger copy. This is how you use the word matrix, because there are some rules here. You have to read it. Did I write? Yeah. From left to right. I wrote right to left. <laughs> Sorry about that. You have to read it from left to right, just like you would read a book in English, okay? So you start on this side and you build across. You can't jump across these little lines here. I have two here. If there's a suffix here, I have to use this suffix before I get to the next one. I'll give you an example. L-O-V-E plus L-Y plus E-S-T, this is a real word that's rewritten as L-O-V-E, L-Y, change the Y to an I, E-S-T. If I jumped over here, L-O-V-E plus E-S-T, this is not a real word. Lovest. You wouldn't say lovest. And the way I test it out is I try to use it in a sentence. This one I can use. She was the loveliest girl I had ever seen. I wouldn't say she was the lovest girl I'd ever seen. So you're going to practice and try out using this matrix to build some word sums. And the way you build them is with the pluses like I've been doing. And the way you say it is out loud. And the way you learn is to make mistakes and try again. And she said that I could come in and teach a sample lesson. One of the reasons I'm here is to teach you something, but I'm really here about myself. <laughs> all about oh, I'm trying to teach myself a few things, okay? I have been doing this teaching today in kindergarten, first grade, and second grade. I'm here, then I'm going to fourth grade, then I'm going to third grade to try to teach the same lesson in different ways to different kids. These three reasons are why love is spelled the way it is. Okay? I want you to think about that for one second. It is... L-O-V-E plus I-N-G is rewritten as, check the joins, single silent E, L-O-V-I-N-G. I need to say no E. I need to say no E.
okay? We're going to practice some word sums after we work on a word matrix. The rest of this page, I want you with your table to take one minute, that's all I'm going to give you, oh. to go through and figure out if you can add, find out prefixes and bases that you could add to love to make complete work. Okay? Just do the top of this matrix. Go. Okay. Mm. Cross the matrix like this. U N plus L O V E plus I N G plus L Y. Unlovingly. If I can use it in a sentence, it's probably a real word. This is going to be our test. Not going to be This is going to be a test. Unlovingly. She looked at me unlovingly after I spent all day baking that cake. No. Does that work with the sentence? The word it does. Unlovingly is a word. Unlovingly is a word. What? You Try and build some, wor some word sums at the bottom. I you have know. another minute to do this. See if you can build at least two word sums at the bottom. Tonight when you go home and your parents say, how was your day? You might say, great. Mom, Dad, can you tell me why love isn't spelled L-U-E? And don't tell them right away. Let them, let them think. Let them work that out. Sneak up on them as they're looking through the dictionary for the answer. Don't tell them until they're about to burst. And then remind them that it's because L-O-V-E, we don't ever write it with a single a, a V at the end of the word. It's always V-E. We don't write U-V. Instead, we write O-V. And we don't, wouldn't put a U and a V together because they might be confused as a double U, and we already have that in our language. And then you say we're smarter than the <laughs> Thanks, everybody. You can put these in your word study notebook. Did you go to that question? Uh, oh.